Okay, so for my utopia, I've built a it's like a scale model of what my utopia in Minecraft might look like. Now, keep in mind that this is obviously super small because just for the sake of time, so this is kind of a, a scale model. What I'm going around right now is the uh, house of the owner of the utopia. So I'm just going to get right into it. Right here, we have our houses. Each house is the same on inside and outside. They'd all go down here, and if it was bigger, they'd keep going on and on. So right here we have our clothes store where they have a choice of what color clothes they want to wear. Uh, there's no mix matching the clothes. Here we have we have a women's and a men's um, uh, men's job center where they, this is where they take the test to see what job they're gonna get. The reason is, the difference is they have there's different questions because anyone can get any job, but there's just different questions for the males and the females and the only difference is that this is blue and then that's pink and then right here you go into here and then if you look there's like stuff around and then this is the master's room uh, we got here he loves paintings so there's paintings everywhere the only computers or laptops in the whole entire utopia right here bathroom thrones for the husband and wife and then there's the bed so uh, so I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna be walking around and just like going into stuff and then I'll talk about three things that you need to give up when you go into the utopia is the choice of the house choice of your job and having any cars now the cars you, you there's it's gonna be quite small so you're just gonna be walking around most of the time to get what to whatever job you get obviously obviously the choice of house because everyone has the same house and then yeah and then they'll take a test for the job three things they must do is they must take a job test at 18 to um to obviously see what job they're gonna get obey any and all rules given so any none of the rules will be outrageous or anything like that but you need to obey what rules you can get or like what what rules you get and then the first 1,000 people in the Utopia were they signed an agreement to be necessarily brainwashed, not really, but to like kind of forget the outside world, world, so um they wouldn't try to escape or anything like that. But they agreed to that so that they like they knew what was happening. And then the three things that the government does is they analyze what job you're gonna have, obviously by grading the tests. And they um, control everyone in society, so you know, everyone is like controlled, kind of. So like, it's pretty much set what you're gonna do and stuff like that. And then they make sure everyone is happy. That's like their number one priority. They want everyone to be happy, and because that's what the point of this utopia is. Everyone should be happy, and that's like why the utopia is here. So, uh. The poverty levels in uh, a lot of the places around the world are just extremely high. In this Zootopia, there's no poverty. Everyone's living a good life. And, yeah, there would be, be no such thing as a Great Depression like back in the day because we have everything set up perfectly and there's no chance, like we calculated, no chance of there being an economic crash. Uh, there's been a lot of other failed Utopias. But this will definitely not be one of them because we know exactly what we're doing. We've planned everything out before. For This has been plan being planned for years on years. And it's not going to happen. Our government doesn't have too much power because, I mean, we do have a lot of power. But the people have obviously agreed to be here. But um, we, we, com we do control everything. So there is a lot of power in the government. But we control it right. Like that's, that's from week seven, you know. They're, the government does have a lot of power, but I don't think it's too much. So this is a utopia I built. Uh, hope you enjoy.